Microsoft, Bing, what went wrong? Company announced yesterday it's taking a $6.2 billion charge for its money losing internet division. We've got George Stahl from the journal here. George, what, what, what happened? I like the way that you refer to $6 billion as a ding, right. which, you know, it, relatively for speaking, Microsoft, for Microsoft, it is. It is, it is a ding. <laughs> but it also it is an indication of the struggles that they've had getting their online division to work, in particular Bing, which is a big part of it. And, and what they have struggled with is catching up with Google in the search ad business. Google gets a lot more money. I don't money. think they've just struggled. I think they've just been left in the dust. Yes, yeah, yeah, D despite, how, despite trying to catch up for many years. And it shows the difficulty in trying to catch up in this day and age. Microsoft, back in the day, was able to catch up. They were, they were late with the, with the web browser, but with Internet Explorer, they quickly regain uh, dominance in that area. And, and the thought was that with Bing, they'd be able to make inroads against Google, and they just haven't at all. Google still gets more than th three quarters of the search ad revenue. And now this just isn't for, for Internet. If you look at Microsoft, clearly you know, hugely successful with first Windows and then their Office products. But after that, it's sort of been just, you know, a string of flops. I mean, think of the Zune. Right, right, right. You still and, have and yours? <laughs> I know, Never George. You were, you were out there. You were online for one. The <laughs> yeah, only yeah. guy there. <laughs> I was trying to be the cool kid, but it didn't work out yeah. that way. Uh, yeah, no, they... they, they look, look, actually, to that, we have some past parts of yours. You know, granted, the Xbox has been a hit, but you've got the Zune, and then there was the... the remember kin. the kid? Wow, oh, that, that was just that, a That was a flop. good month of our lives, wasn't right. it? Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the, yeah, and, and look, the Xbox has been a success, uh, but they also invested a lot of money into it, and the thinking was that with Bing, if they invested a lot of money, which they have through the years, that, that they would be able to, to catch up in, uh, in, in online, but they have, had, they have been able to do that, and now what they said yesterday is that they have to write down some of those investments. Right, and, and that investment, it goes back to, they, they purchased a company, eQuantiv, back in 2007. A -Aquantive. Yeah. Aquantiv, sorry. And, and so what they're doing now is they're taking a $6.2 I guess we should point out, non-cash charge to Goodwill. What is that going to mean for their uh, upcoming earnings? It basically wipes out their earnings for the quarter. People were expecting them to make around $5.2 billion, $5.3 billion for the quarter. So now they, 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 will, they will actually report a bottom line loss. Now, on an operational basis, as you said, this is a non-cash -char, non charge. So if you back that out, obviously they will still you know, make money on an operational basis. But because of this balance sheet adjustment, with, which basically erases the a quantum deal, which was for $6.3 billion. Right. And the, I think that's you know one thing... It, and I just use the two and so people say, well, it's non-cash. Yeah. You're still writing down a portion yes. of the balance sheet. That means you just overpaid wildly for something. Right, right. And 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 they did. And it came at a point where Google spent money on DoubleClick and they purchased DoubleClick for about three and a half billion dollars. And Microsoft, in a move to try to catch up and, and, and to make up for the loss of DoubleClick, overpaid for a company that they had they had struggled to, to figure out how to incorporate into their business. Right. So it was sort of Google saw Microsoft, uh, Microsoft saw Google move and said, hey, we've got to get in there, too. Right. We'll just splash out a lot of money because we have lots. Exactly, and, exactly. And and it just and now now they're paying the price for that. Right. Well, let's go back to, as you point out, my saying ding for $6.2 billion probably is worth putting one thing in context. So Microsoft still has a market cap of $256 billion. Yes. It's got cash and other investments on its balance sheet of $60 billion and shareholder equity of nearly $70 billion. Look, this is still a very good business and company because of its office products, as you said, you know, earlier that, you know, they, they have been able to, to build a dominant position there and they're st that's still a huge component of their business. So from that point of view, that business is humming along fine. What, what I think this raises a question for is about the Windows phone. Because as we said, as we've seen recently with Microsoft, they've had trouble catching up in other businesses they're behind. Right now, their move is to try to catch up in smartphones and with the release of the new Windows phone operating system later this year. So now we've seen them struggle with Bing and, and catching up in that area. Will they also struggle to catch up with the it, Windows phone? It doesn't bode well for yes. that. I guess Apple is not sitting there quaking its boots right now. <laughs>